In this video, we're going to look at how we can evaluate a function at a point. In this first example, we're told that f of x, or the function, is equal to 3x squared minus 4x. Recall that this notation for f of x does not mean f times x. What that means is, inside this function, we have the variable x that's going to be replaced with something, potentially. We're asked to find f of negative 2, and notice negative 2 has replaced the x. And so we will do the same thing in the function of the 3x squared minus 4x. We will replace the x's with that negative 2 value that's going into the function. We have 3 times x, which is replaced with negative 2 squared. As we make substitutions and replacements, always put them in parentheses, minus 4x, which is replaced with negative 2. Now we have an order of operations problem. We know we have to do the exponents first, so we have 3 times negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times negative 2. Now we can multiply both terms together is fine. 12 and negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And finally, 12 plus 8, is 20. We have found f of negative 2 is equal to 20. This means when negative 2 goes in for the x in the function, the solution we'll get is 20. Let's try another example. In this example, h of x is equal to 3 to the 2x minus 6 power, and we're asked to find h of 4. Notice the 4 has replaced the x in the notation. This means, in the function, the x is going to be replaced again by 4. We get 3 to the 2x, or 2 times 4, minus 6 power, and we simply have to evaluate this expression. Working out the exponent, 2 times 4 is 8, so we have 3 to the 8 minus 6 power, and 8 minus 6, is 2. We now have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. We have found that h of 4 is equal to 9. In other words, if we plug 4 into the h function, replace the x in h with 4, the solution we'll get is 9. Let's try one more example. In this example, we're told k of a is equal to the function 2 times the absolute value of a plus 4, and we're asked to find k of negative 7. Notice the negative 7 replaces the a in the notation. We'll do the same thing inside the function, replacing the a with negative 7, giving us 2 times the absolute value of a, which is negative 7, plus 4. Order of operations tells us to work out the absolute value first, so we'll do the negative 7 plus 4, which is negative 3. And then we can actually evaluate the absolute value, which makes anything positive. So when negative 3 becomes positive, we get positive 3. Be sure we preserve the operation. It was always 2 times the absolute value, now it's 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is simply 6 k of negative 7 is equal to 6. In other words, if we were to plug negative 7 into the k function, the answer we'll end up with, replacing a with the negative 7, is 6. Function notation is simply asking us to replace the variable with the number it represents in the notation then we simplify the expression. 